Good morning, grade 4. Today is Tuesday, March 17, 2020. Our topic for today is Chapter 5, Lesson 5, Where is Earth's Water? This topic is in page 267, Water and Earth. Think about a globe. When you look at a globe, you see much more than blue water than green land. When we try to illustrate that one in a pie chart, the size of the Earth's water is three quarters. The land is just this part. Water exists in solid, liquid, and gas. Water could be in a form of solid like this iceberg. So this is a solid water. Water could also be in a liquid form. The examples are oceans, lakes, rivers, and ponds. Water could also be in a form of gas. When water evaporates, it becomes a gas. The example of that one are water vapors. Let's try to look at this one. Another example of solid water is glaciers. Glaciers are made up of fallen snow. When they pile up, when they become layered, they become glaciers. But didn't you know that glaciers are moving? At the same time, time will come that glaciers in the Arctic region will melt. It is because of the global warming. Because nowadays, the Earth's atmosphere is becoming warmer and warmer. Let's proceed to the next page. Let's discuss the types of Earth's water. There are only two types of Earth's water. The first type is the surface water, and then the other one is the ground water. When we are talking about surface water, we are talking about, about the water above the ground on the Earth's surface. The example of surface water are salt water. Salt water is 97% of all the total of water. Salty water is a water with salt. The example of that one are the ocean. Ocean water is a mixture of water and dissolved salt. This salt comes mostly from the rocks on the land. Remember that the rocks has a content of salt. When that salt dissolves, it mixes with water. As rivers flows over land, they dissolve salts from rocks. They carry the salt to the ocean. Yes, that is true. That is also the reason why the oceans and then the seas are salty. Another example of surface water is the fresh water. Only 3% of the entire total of the water here on earth is fresh water. Fresh water is the water that is drinkable, meaning we could use it for drinking, we could also use it for cooking, for growing crops, and for other activities. The example of fresh water is rivers and ponds. It could also be the frozen water in the Arctic region, like the glaciers. Let's answer number two. Compare and contrast. Write how the ocean and then the ponds are alike. Possible answer. You could answer on your own. They are both bodies of surface water. You can see the ocean and then the pond above the surface of the earth. Their difference is ocean is a salt water, while pond is fresh water. Let's go to number three. Identify. Circle the names of the bodies of water that can contain salt water and draw an X on the bodies of water that contains most fresh water. Let's circle first. Here, I circle the ocean because as I've discussed, that oceans and sea has a consent of salt when the rocks are dissolved. Another is, another is lakes and ponds. Didn't you know that some of the ponds 
have a content of salt also, but not all of them. What is the difference between oceans and seas? Oceans are more bigger than ocean. Uh, sorry, ocean are more bigger than the seas. And what is the difference between lakes and ponds? Basically, lakes are more bigger than the ponds. So those two has a content of salt, but ocean and seas are more saltier compared to the lake and pond's water. Another is this part. The instruction says we need to X the water that does not have a content of salt which is the glaciers and then the ice cups. Glaciers and ice cups are example of fresh water. What is the difference between the glaciers and then the ice cup? I will show you in this illustration. Ice cups is the entire area of the Arctic because the meaning of ice cups is a place where ice is covered the entire region. Glaciers is a slow moving mass of river of ice. So this is the example of glacier. Iceberg is a floating ice in the bodies of frozen water. And what is a river? A river is a flowing fresh water. So you could also write an X here. Or draw an X here because river is an example of fresh water also. It does not contain salt. Let's make a summary. Surface water. The example of surface water are salt water. And then the example of that one are oceans and seas. Another is fresh water. The example of fresh water are river, lake, and ponds. The difference of rivers, it's a running water. While lake and pond, they are still water. These three are fresh water. But some lakes and ponds have a content of salt, but there are only few numbers of lakes and ponds that have salt. Let's go to another type of earth's water. The groundwater. This is the second type of Earth's water. Groundwater, from the word itself, you can see it under the ground. Groundwater fills the space and cracks it underground of the soil and then the rocks. We can see it here in the illustration. We have here the mountain. We also have here the lake. We also have here the groundwater and some people, they are building the well to get fresh water for drinking and then for their crops, for their plants, for their farm. How do groundwater form? Groundwater form is formed like this one. Groundwater is not trapped underground. It could flow slowly through most of the types of the soil. In some places, groundwater may flow out the ground and into the lake, ponds, or river. A spring is a place where groundwater comes to the surface of the land. People also dig well to reach water for their drinking and for their crops. If you try to look at this illustration, some water here in the lake is staying in the surface, but other water is staying in some of the cracks of the mountain. So this is an example of cracks in the mountain or cracks in the rock that stay there. But it doesn't mean that this groundwater is not moving. It is moving slowly. Didn't you know that groundwater is a drinkable water? But you need to filter it to remove some to remove some uh, 
stones, dirt, and some, some are rocks. So there are some process how to do it. Now, let's, pro let's proceed to this one. Clean drinking water. People need clean water for drinking, cooking, and other activities. But fresh water from underground and from the surface water is not always clean. For example, waters in the lake and rivers can contain germs. So how do they do the filtering of that one? They do a special process for cleaning the water. They use some chemicals to clean the water. That chemical they use is good for the body and then for the crops or for the plants. Some fresh water must be clean before people can drink it. Drink it. Before, in old times, people can directly drink the rivers from the uh, the water from the rivers. It is because in old time there was no water pollution, there was no air pollution. At the same time, there are only few people before, unlike nowadays. Nowadays. People are making ways how to clean it. As I mentioned, they use a chemical that is good for the body and then for the plants. They put it, that chemical serves as a cleaning agent to clean the water. But didn't you know other places like Saudi Arabia, they use the salty water as drinking water? They use a special process called Desalination. Desalination is the process of removing the salt and then the minerals from the salty water. Didn't you know also that there are 14,500 desalination plants or factories operating worldwide? Why they are doing this? Because, as I mentioned a while ago, 97% of Earth's water is salty, and most of the Earth's region have a salty water only. So there are many countries worldwide doing this process. There are 230 million people rely on this process. Okay, let's make some summary. Earth's water. Two types are the surface water and then the ground water. Surface water is above the ground and then ground water is underground. The example of surface water, salt water, which are the oceans and then the seas. Fresh water, examples are river, lake, ponds, glaciers, and ice cups. And then the ground water, the example of that one, are the water that we can get in the well. Let's answer number six. Name three places where Earth's fresh water is found. Which these places has most fresh water? Here are the following. Fresh water is found in glacier, underground, and in the lakes, and then in the river. Most fresh water is found in the glacier and in the ice. How do they do it? How they do it in the Arctic region? They melt the water by boiling. Number seven. Think about what you have learned about the amount of fresh water available for drinking. Why is it important? The possible answer, since there are millions of living things on earth and only limited amount of fresh water to drink, we must use the water carefully by conserving it. So we don't want water uh, become extinct or become uh, water to finish. So we need to conserve the water by saving the usage of it. So we need to save usage. For example, when we are brushing our teeth, we need to use glass. When we, not, when we want to water the plants, we need to use the bucket to water the plants. Okay, girls, if you have some question, you can send it in Classera or in my WhatsApp. Thank you for listening. Till next time.